It wasn't so long ago that any girl on a bike would have stopped the traffic, in this case, unintentionally. In Victorian times, for example, the most energetic pastime for a respectable young lady was probably this. In 1835, this hand-operated machine was the last word in modern design. And if you were young and fit, you might reach a speed of 40 stitches a minute, foolish, headstrong girl. Actually, sewing machines were first made in about 1790, although they were too crude to be used on clothing. They developed fast, but weren't used by the public until about 1839, and then only as a great luxury. So you can see why the rival claims of the songs, Diamonds are a girl's best friend, and the sewing machines are a girl's best friend, seem to have more in common than you might have first thought. This one, in fact, was called Prima Donna, although she was made of solid cast iron and weighed more than 40 pounds. About 70 years ago, portable machines for running repairs were the Vogue. This one weighs about four ounces. In the 1930s, the first electric machines were introduced to this country from America. These days, the offshoots of those machines are so advanced that all a girl has to do is sit at the controls and hold it back. To embroider a name, just move the material. This will show up the girls who didn't pay attention at school. If that wasn't impressive enough, this machine is automatic and without getting technical, has controls to vary the length of stitch and the swing needle head so that the rate of movement is controlled. In this way, you can sew on a button in half a second while a button hole takes one hundredth of the time it takes by hand. The twin needle effect is illustrated to its best advantage in embroidery. In this cot cover, for example, two colors are worked at the same time. Besides this advantage, by varying the shape, length and width of the stitch, it's possible to produce more than one million types of embroidery stitch. From the first crude forged iron machine with only six moving parts, to the intricate present-day models. Gone are the days when a housewife slaved over a hot sewing machine. Tomorrow's atomic sewing machines will probably dispense with the housewife altogether. <laughs>